Hello Rubik Builder LLC fans. Today we are, I am here with a Lego haul video. This haul is from the Brick Slopes 2015 Lego convention. Uh, I'm not sure which video I will upload first, this one or the one of the footage I took at the actual convention, but this is what I got at the convention. So I got a few different things at the convention, and the first was a bag of assorted bulk Lego, and it was only $6 for all this stuff I'm about to show you. So I'll start with the more boring parts and then get up to the cooler ones. One by one bricks. Place those in the back. One by two bricks. Mostly red. I got mostly red because I'm coming up with a red building mock. That's kind of a teacher. Or teaser. Uh, one by threes. And one by four. The only single one by four. Oh, and also, if you haven't noticed, this blue bracelet here is from the convention. Unleash your imagination. Okay, then there's slopes. These are just 45 degree inverted slopes. Here's 45 degree not inverted slopes. Okay, now we have basic plates. Those are all just normal plates. Uh, and plus some corner plates. And then round plates. They're round. Both the 1x1s one one and the 2x2 two two varieties. 1x1 one one round bricks. Let's see. Headlight bricks, only three of them. One lone red kind of hingy brick. Don't know what to call that. Jumpers. Uh, here's all the jumper tiles that I got. Mostly two by two brown with one stud in the middle, but then also some red 1 by 2s there's those then these are all the random clip and bar elements I got just of lots of different varieties they all have either a clip or a bar on them and then the bottom part of one of the tiny little minifigure levers just one of those whoops I got there um, cheese slopes only two tiles, two normal tiles. One click hinge. Keep in mind, these were all just, like most of these, I just grabbed out of a bucket. That, a bucket of mostly red parts. It was supposed to be all red, but people had mixed some other colors in. So I just grabbed these all out of a random red bin. Otherwise, I would have gotten like larger quantities of a single part or things like you would normally do in individual part buying. One little panel piece. Here's the grills, both the tile grills and the slope grills. Okay, and there's this one red element, kind of a frontal type piece. Oh, I should have done these earlier. More slopes, I don't know what degree that is. Then two of these slider things. These can be useful. There, I scooted back the camera. Um, let's see. Here's all the Technic parts. Again, just random Technic parts. Yep. To go along with the Technic parts, here's the gears I got. Uh, along with these knob wheels is what I call them. I didn't have any of these before and now I got like five of them. And so I'm happy because these are cool gears of coolness. Uh, that's pretty much all the boring stuff. Here's just other random pieces. Most of these are like that without its partner, that without its partner. This side building panel. <laughs> A lonely, big curved slope. Just random, semi-useless things like that. 
Now we're going to transition into the plants with these log bricks. There's two of them. And here's the plants. So I got three bamboo leaves. I love Lego plants. One carrot stem. I count it as a plant piece, not a food piece, because I don't actually have any carrots, so I just use this as like a little plant sprout thing. A bunch of these one by one round plates with the kind of flower stem things on them. All green except for one pink one on top. Two yellow flowers. And two leaf pieces. One light green big one and one dark green little one. Okay, here's the more exciting stuff. I got this transparent blue 8x8 eight eight plate. Very cool. I also got two ladders. Very useful. Four of these kind of odd transparent pieces. Uh, these are used if you want to have like something floating, like a floating part on a spaceship, say. Um, one rowboat. Good. Didn't have any of these before. And four of these tall girders. These I'm definitely going to use for something. I didn't have very many of these in the past, and now I have some. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, the reason that uh, I am doing my recent, my more recent videos have been on the floor is because the blue table that I usually use is downstairs being used in a fort. So I'm going to use the floor until it gets back up here. I got these two briefcases. Cool. One shovel. Cool. The, the two briefcases and the shovel were only 50 cents for all three of those. This head, I think, from Ninjago. Kind of random. And this baby dragon piece. This is really cool. I'll probably use this for something fun. Baby dragon. Dark green. Okay. Then I got this micromanager. Pretty cool. Not sure what set he's from, but he was kind of cheap, so I got him. Claw arms. Flick fire missiles. Just like that. I'll stick those back in. And then he has a function on the back that's pretty cool. You click, you push down on this, and the whole guy kind of explodes. And uh, flies apart. That's what you do when you want to, like, kill the micromanager. And he has these things on the bottom that kind of flap up. Lots of functionality and detail for such a small little model. Finally, I got this. The Brick Slopes Knight. Uh, he's kind of the collector's item, I guess you would say, from the convention. He was only $2, so, and they made a lot, so he probably isn't going to be worth that much, but he's still cool. He has the Brick Slopes logo custom printed on his shield. This is officially my very first custom printed piece I've ever owned, because I think they're not good. And then he just has kind of a normal kingdom's torso, helmet, head, uh, sword. And yeah, but he's cool, mostly just because of the shield. And then they also had a princess minifigure that was also $2. And uh, the Brick Slopes logo was printed on her uh, cape, but I didn't think that was as cool, so I didn't get it. At the convention, I also won a sticker sheet. Uh, here's what's left of it. I used them all. I used all the stickers except for those two there. Used them to decorate some of my Lego storage bins. There's Lex Luthor on there. Uh, let me grab this. Here's Mr. Freeze on my minifigure sorter. On my Technic ice cream bucket, I put all the Wonder Woman stuff. So all the Wonder Woman stickers are on here. And I did a similar thing for Superman. This slope bucket is just all the Superman stickers. And then my miscellaneous bin slash plate bin slash weird stuff bin is the coolest. I did like a whole scene on this. So I put that big Crooks Driving Away sticker on there. And then all these money, little money stickers that came with, I put like flying out of their car 
and then there's a policeman chasing him over here. So it's kind of a cool little scene there that I made.